Welcome, welcome to Unhinged with the Door Dork. Um, today, we've got a very special guest, Andy Anderson. He's one of the original dorks. Okay, are you guys ready for the next one? Ready. Ready. Oh, no. Yeah. What's it say on the wall that's, that's kind of off-white right there? R- right there, it says not an exit. So oh, this man. Is, this is not an exit. A lot of it. There's Braille underneath it saying it's not an exit. <laughs> <laughs> that's... It's like a hotel it. card key. Yeah. And then they have access control on it. <laughs> oh, but yeah, Every- there's these two signs are uh, clearly saying this way to an exit. Oh, my Lord. Why wouldn't you just yeah. take the red exit signs out? Because it's probably on the path of egress. There's probably, so this is not an right. exit, but it's no. on the path, right? So this is excess it- access. Is that a door bottom gasket? Oh. Yeah, there is a threshold on the bottom. That's bad. Everything tells me to go through it on previous episodes. Me is always the curious cat, and I would be right (laughs) with her jumping through. It's funny you said that, because I was like, what do we think's behind it? I was going to ask. My wife would be like, where are you going? Hold on, I'll be right back. You you can't just throw path of egress exits and leave them. You'd have to get rid of them if you're not going to use them. Yeah, if a fire happened, which I appreciate that they have the lower sign at the bottom because that's now becoming code. Crawling through the smoke. But if you're running down this hall for your life and you see, oh, exit this way and you get to it and you're like, oh, I don't have the card or the credential to get through this. um, You're probably going to be a little upset, right? Like (laughs) you're not dead. I mean, as somebody in the door hardware industry, you're going, this is on the path of egress. I'm kicking it down. We're going through. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if I would, I'm curious, is it like, a, did they change the building over? Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if they did do a remodel or an update, and this is technically not an exit anymore, but if by code, you should be removing these signs down. The, yeah. Kudos that they have four of them. You should have sharpied on the exits, not um... Any last comments before we give it a knocking score? This one's okay. pretty high for me. I mean, let's hope they've created another path of egress somewhere very close by, but I think this is like an, an eight or a nine because this is life safety that yeah. you're messing with. You're always, I didn't want to copy you. I was going to say nine. Um, <laughs> I don't always know the codes, but I'll find them. But yeah, it's like the biggest one is that you're in a path of egress and all I see is exit around it. And uh, and then one on the door and then another access control on it telling me not to. And it just screams anxiety and uh, a lawsuit waiting to happen. Final shot. Are you guys ready? This one's actually very similar. So, oh, oh is there a mag? There is a mag lot. <laughs> and it is an exit. It's This is a stairwell door. You would need a card or a fob to exit this path of egress. I've seen them card from the stair side and you've always egressed out but i don't see the request either even if um if you didn't badge out yeah you'd need a a rex request exit and an override or an alarm pull and there is within reach like you're supposed to have that within reach somewhere that's right what the heck is going on uh, this, this one I, I actually ran into personally. It was at an apartment complex in uh, downtown Portland and I was on the fourth floor. I got elevator access to go down to, this is the main floor. We parked on the other side of the building. And so we didn't want to walk all the way over to the main entrance to leave the building. So we're like, oh, there's an exit right here. This will take us to our car right outside. And I tried to exit and I couldn't. I'm like, this uh, <laughs> right here. That's probably not an electrified panic. No, I so I yep. thought maybe it was like a delayed egress. And so I pushed right. and held on it. Nothing for over over a minute. My wife was laughing at me as I was videoing again. 45 more seconds. It, it went down the hall to the main entrance to exit while I was fiddling around with this door. That is weird. Maybe it's infinite delay. <laughs> so you can definitely control the egress from the entry side. But the egress, you should always have free egress. Because what if yeah. you forgot... Uh, back in your apartment there's probably 100 people on this floor it's a large apartment complex and this whole half would have to run out to the main entrance to leave what if that's blocked or i don't know if in fire then maybe they just have it all tied into fire alarm and all the power dropped on the opening because it could be a a non-fire emergency 
So that's, man, that just makes me crawl. Do you think there was always a mag on this door? Or do you think there's a problem with that exit device and they try to solve it with a mag? I would think the latter. Yeah, I'm guessing they had an incident. Like someone broke into the building, got up one of the stairway accesses, and they wanted to control or restrict access on that opening. Let's throw a maglock up on there. What's the worst thing that could happen? Did you go to the other side of the opening and see if there was a ASA prep on there? Because I, I wonder if it was the cylindrical lock and they obviously went away from that as well and threw that on there and then and then that fix failed and they solved it by uh, forever mag i did not but next time i'm there i'll go check it out life <laughs> life finds a way for a dork there's no there's nothing that can stop a dork from getting out oh yeah no the, e even the door was bending a little bit i probably could have just like broken that dinky little mag lock on there i know it's probably higher rated weight than i am <laughs> no but that's seriously probably what happened i mean if you're saying the yeah. door was bending and stuff they probably had a security incident with this number one they need a reinforced door <laughs> and number two they just need a different exit device <laughs> it wasn't prepped right a cheapo it's not premium hardware on there okay any last comments questions before we give it a knocking score and i'm gonna let you okay. go first so that i don't cop you don't copy me Okay. I mean, it says egress and, and for me, um, being ADHD, some things it, it's, it's way too black and white and, uh, it's definitely no gray area for me to figure this one out. So I'm gonna go with another eight. Yeah. I was, I was eight or nine for this because it's, okay. again, it's a life safety. Yeah, no, this, this is bad. And, um, Katie, Katie Flowers, our, our code and training specialist, she uh, emailed me and said, Ben, we need to take care of this immediately. And so I uh, <laughs> helped me craft up a letter that we sent off to the management team and nice. the attendant there, my brother-in-law in a That's different cool. apartment is now um, complaining to the management team as well. Until they get it fixed, grab your fob whenever you leave. If there's a fire, do not prop that door open because yeah. you would want that to stay. But you got to sure. make sure you can get out. Yeah, but what about yeah. everybody else? What if they forgot their fobs? It's the train predicament. Okay, so Andy, Mia, it's always a pleasure having you guys hey, on the show. Thank you. Much gratitude. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah, make sure you guys join us for the next episode of Unhinged. Our doors are always open because they're unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.